I'm going to start with Newton, since this, this talk is even labeled after a famous saying of Newton's, and where he started with gravity, how it led to Einstein's gravity, and then to us, both experimentally and theoretically. So I think we all know Newton's theory of gravity is probably one of the most successful theories in science. It lasted more than 200 years and explained an awful lot. He proved that if you had an inverse square law like this, that it would lead to elliptical orbits around the sun, which was a thing that then if it's going to be the planets or the moon, you'd have to have. And that all led to something that he then published eventually in the Principia. That's the clean picture. Just like when you read our paper, the picture you get is that 100 years ago, Einstein predicted gravitational waves. 100 years later, we detected them. The actual story has more complexity than that. And even this one does. It turns out that that's what we know about Newton. But the problem is actually more complicated. There was another very good scientist at that time. This is in Britain at the Royal Society uh, named um, Robert Hooke. However, he ran into Newton. He claimed at one point, this is before the Principia was published, that he invented the inverse square law and that he had written a letter to Newton, which nobody's ever seen, and it became a dispute between them. Uh, Newton, when he wrote the Principia, then he said he wouldn't publish the Principia because of this dispute. When he wrote it, finally, and published it, there's no mention of Hooke anywhere in the, in the Principia, which is kind of a shame, but that's the fact. Mm -hmm.